Hey guys, it's Theo here from Rex, and today we're going to compare four of my favorite mode of bowling balls, and that includes that new Hyper Venom. Okay, so before we begin, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep giving you guys the best content possible. Today, uh, I had a chance to go out to Sherman uh, Bowling Center out in Muskegon and uh, do some videos to show you guys a little in-depth review comparing the mode of Super Rally, the Hyper Venom, which is amazing by the way. I think I threw nine strikes in a row on the video. It's super awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, and also the Venom Shock and the Ripcord Launch. Notice I did not bring up the Black Venom just because that's an asymmetric piece. I just wanted to show you guys four, you know, really solid, you know, symmetrical balls that I feel like are really great for the mode of lineup. Um, and again, you know, if you guys are looking for some awesome gear, use the code REX10 on the 12 Bagger website and Kuwik, you know, to be able to save yourself, you know, 10% on any, you know, 12 Bagger product. Okay, let's dive in. Let's get on the lanes. Let's see what these bowling balls look like on a burnt up house pattern at Sherman. All right, so we're gonna start with that mode of Super Rally, that 257040, that quad fire uh, V2 core, propulsion DRS Pearl of 5000, so that drag reduction system. Guys, if the lanes are torched and you really need something to get down the lane and you wanna throw it to the dry, the Super Rally is gonna be really, really good. Um, I have a lot of friends who throw this ball and you know, they say, man, this ball hooks a ton, messenger. Um, it can hook quite a bit, you know, so you'd be very surprised with these low-end balls and how much they can hook. Great how shot bowling balls. Uh, now we move on to that mode of Hyper Venom. You guys, this ball is just freaking sweet. Um, as you know, we had that previous video at Spectrum Lanes showing it on that fresh house shot there. Um, here, it's a, there's a little bit more oil in the middle of the lane, but again, this is a burnt up shot. I know they had a league the night before. As you can see there, that length dropped a little bit, a little bit more back end, and a little bit more hook. So for me, you know, the uh, Hyper Venom is going to be, of course, a step up, you know, from that Super Rally. It's going to give me a little bit more shape, a little bit more mid lane read. I was talking to the guys at Motive, and you know, what's crazy um, is that they just said that this this cover was a lot, is, was really, really strong. And I mean, I agree. You know, I think this is a perfect match for the Venom line. If you guys need something that's going to get down the lane and really have some shape uh, and be pretty angular on the back end there, this is going to be a great option for you. So moving on to the Venom Shock, you know, it's really cool to throw this because I haven't really done any like reviews on the Venom Shock as a two-handed player. So the Venom Shock, one of the best balls ever made, you know, again, it has that gear core just like the uh, you know, Hyper Venom, but this time it has a Turmoil MFS at 4000. So in this video, guys, I have mine at like a light 2000. I just like to see it pick up a little bit earlier. Again, if I was to kind of compare this to the Hyper Venom, I would say that the Venom Shock is going to be a little bit earlier, give me a little more shape up front, uh, be a little bit more forward for me. So Venom Shock can be thrown on a lot of stuff. I mean, hey guys, if EJ Tackett has won that many tournaments and been on the show, you know, that's this shows you how good it is. And as you can see there, you know, again, probably not the ball for transition because lanes are burning up. The mode of Ripcord Launch, Guys, this ball is really, really good too. It's a sleeper. Um, look at the numbers there. So you notice that that length, and then there, they got the back end and the hook. So things kind of change there. Uh, you can see the ball has a lot of length and a lot of back end. So the reason why I had this one last is to really show you guys that when you need to open the lanes up and you need to move left and you throw something to the dry and you need a bigger core to get that ball to do some work, it's gonna work with that Torx V2 symmetric core. So that's 251048 as well. Again, keep in mind that ripcord, I'm not a huge fan of throwing it in the puddle. It's more the ball that I have to get left and throw it out to the dry. Here's a comparison of the Super Rally, uh, the Hyper Venom here with the, the line tracing. Really, really great uh, representation, you know, comparing these balls. Uh, the Venom Shock gives you that more overall round shape, the benchmark motion. And then, of course, the ripcord launch, which offers a little bit more length overall, a little bit more back end. So, that's a little uh, comparison there, guys. I really hope you'd enjoy that as well. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's four of my favorite motor bowling balls there. 
Uh, I thought I'd show you guys a really quick comparison, you know, at Sherman Lanes. It's nice to get a bowl at different centers just to get a different uh, insight on those bowling balls and how they perform. Again, a huge thanks to 12 Bagger Bowling, Radical Restore Ball Cleaner, uh, Motive Bowling, Joe Pogrips, you guys are awesome. Stay tuned for uh, more content soon, guys. I'll see you next time.